What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Lightning McMurphy here. And if you didn't know, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Decidueye, has been announced for Pokemon Unite. The only thing that could probably get better is Volcarona. There's maybe a few other ones that I would take. That new, um, Zoroark. No. Zoroark. Zoroark. The new Zoroark would definitely be one of them. But, um, Decidueye is super up there. I, I used to play Pokemon all the time. And the situation was my main. You had some cool ass combos. So like I just fell in love. I honestly, the main game, the situation is all right. Aesthetically, phenomenal. And like I said, from Pokemon, that's where I really found my love for the situation. But we're gonna really we're gonna jump in, we're gonna watch this video, we're gonna break it down a little bit, right? We're gonna talk about it. And um, yeah, and then we're gonna go over all the moves the situation has, right? So we're gonna start here. Boom! The situation, right? That is Shadow Sneak, right? So let's just fly around. That is a razor leaf, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna point out all the moves when I can see it. With this one, oh god, we do not want to have the audio muffled. With this one move, what it's gonna do to be helpful is it will automatically, whenever you auto attack, will attack something else that's nearby as well. So like if you're in a team fight, that could be disgusting, right? Go on. Look at that dunk animation. That's fine. <laughs> could be the best dunk in the game. And then you got knock knock. That's the ultimate. It looks like it's gonna travel until it hits a Pokemon, and then if that Pokemon's gone, it'll keep going. And then obviously that last hit's gonna go through everybody no matter what, right? So Decidueye is here, everybody's excited, but we got some moves to talk about. We got some star studded breakdown. This is a Twitter account that I follow to find some stuff early out on Pokemon Unite if you wanna follow it too. It's not a bad idea. They really are good. They give you all the stuff and the weekly updates that's gonna be there. The, it's good. I suggest it right here, you can check them out. But um, we're gonna go right into the thick of things. We got the first start off when you're Rowlet, you got Leafage and Astonish. Pelts leaves in a designated direction, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon hit by them. For a short time after using this move, the user's attack and basic attack speed are increased. So you'll be doing more damage and you'll be doing it faster, right? Uh, Astonish, when you're out, it will deal damage to opposing Pokemon and decrease their movement speed for a short time. So you're increasing your movement speed with your first set of moves, you're increasing your attack speed as well, and you're going to be decreasing your opponent's speed. That's pretty good and yeah that's pretty good as a support he's got a lot of support moves if you ask me based on like what i've read um next it was razor leaf i was right uh razor leaf summons a whirlwind of razor leaves for a short time after using this move the user's attack and basic attack speed are increased okay so it's similar to leafage it's kind of like you know the line of leafage um in addition to use basic attack the target can mult um the target's attacks can target multiple opposing pokemon for a short time Razor Leaf Plus, when the Pokemon reaches 11, upgrade increases the user's basic attack damage to higher opposing Pokemon. Or to, the user's basic attack damage, the higher the opposing Pokemon's remaining HP is, which is weird as heck, right? That's like Tank Shredder almost. If you're if you're going up against a team of tanks, is when you really want it. And when you're in a team fight too, Razor Leaf is attacking multiple people. This move sounds gnarly, right? Sadly, you have to choose it over Spirit Shackle, which to me sounds like the coolest move in the game, right? It sounds awesome. Charges bow, or charges power, before firing quills in the designated direction. Damage dealt by quills increases the long power is charged, so you're going to be holding it like some Hanzo with stuff. But movement speed is decreased while charging it, like Hanzo. If this move hits after power is charged completely, it can stitch opposing Pokemon's shadow to the ground. Already sounds crazy as hell. The effect of Pokemon receives damage upon moving a set distance from that location and its movement speed is decreased for a short time. And the plus is decreased, um, increased damage to opposing Pokemon with low remaining HP. So it is an execute at that point. This reminds me a lot like a Lowie. You know, you get the soul suck and now they're stuck in place. The more further they run, the more damage they take and you're just hunting them down while you do so. This is definitely going to be the one I'm going based on obviously numbers. If one of them is incredibly weak, I won't be going it. But if they're, you know... About the same, like if you know if it's like uh, Sylveon where you get the, uh, the flame or you get the voice. If these two are similar, you know, it's really up to you at the end of the day. I'm probably going to go with Spirit Shackle though just because I like that. Like, they can't run from me. You know what I mean? They're stuck here. Like, if I'm trying to kite them out also, I could lock them in place and they're trying to get closer to me. I'm kiting them. They're losing health while I'm trying to kite. It's fun. But we're going to go to the next set, right? We got Leaf Storm. Creates a Tempest of Sharp Leaves, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon it hits and decreasing their Pokemon speed for a short time. At point bearing range, it also shoves Pokemon it hits. When the Pokemon reaches level 13, increase the length of time that the movement speed of opposed Pokemon is decreased. So again, a lot more support, a lot more CCS stuff. This is gonna do damage as well, but it gives it slow, it gives knockback. This is great for creating space. You are a damaged Pokemon, like an ADC, so you gotta create space. Probably the second AC in the game, only behind Cinderace, if I'm not mistaken. Greninja's like a hybrid. But we're going to move on to Shadow Seed. Creates a shadow that takes a hold of one opposing Pokemon in the area of effect, dealing damage to it and decreasing the movement speed and defense for a short time. 
also increase the user's movement speed for a short time. Uh, at plus, it further decreases defense. So, with this, these two, right, it's kind of hard without looking at numbers. I can't assume Shadow Sneak would do more damage because it has more effects, right? It, you get a movement speed buff, you decrease their speed, and you decrease their defense, right? Whereas this one is pushes them back and it decreases their movement speed. You know, there's not that I get a movement speed buff, which this one does have. Um, so, uh, this one's weird to me. And when you watch in the trailer, it also looks really weird. It almost changes their animation. I wonder if like you're stuck in like that flying mode as Decidueye when you activate Shadow Sneak. Personally, I think Spirit Shackle Leaf Storm is what I'm going to go with. And I know it doesn't seem like conventional because a lot of people like just want to go straight Ghost Line or straight Grass Line. I'm going to try and go Ghost Grass probably the first few times I play it. This way, because you're shoving them, right? That probably does even more damage coupled with the Spirit Shackle. So you're just only doing more damage because if they move when you shackle them down, boom. Uh, the last thing we're going to read is his ultimate. Fire close in the designated direction, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon. The move ends by unleashing a particular large... ...so stuff to all opposing Pokemon hits. This move deals increased damage if the opposing Pokemon remaining HP is low. So this is also an execute. Um, while using this move, the user becomes immune to hindrances but is unable to move. Think Cramorant. The Sidui is looking really good, right? Based off what I've seen, it's looking like you're going to be able to hold your own in battle. You're going to be able to control, like, who's approaching you and when with the amount of CC and can support you have. You have so many hindrances in your kit. Almost every single move has an extra slow or movement speed buff for you. So it seems like it's going to be very kite friendly. I, I'm i very excited to try it out. The ultimate called Knock Knock makes me think of Spawn as well. I can't wait to use that meme. That's going to be hilarious. But all in all, one of my favorite Pokemon is added. It looks like they did them justice. I'm very excited. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I will catch you on the flip side. Peace. Oh, hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, you should leave a like, comment, subscribe. Check out some more videos. And uh, yeah, just say uh, thank you guys for... Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the flip.